My name's Doug. And I'm Ashley. And we bought a three acre property out in the country. We're working to turn this property into our homestead and we're gonna be planting gardens and fixing up the property and the buildings that are on it. One of the awesome things about this property is an old schoolhouse. And um, we wanna renovate that schoolhouse and turn it into our home. One of the big questions that we had was, is there a septic system? We can't use it as a home unless there's a septic installed, and that's a big expense for us. And also in turning our property into our homestead, we want gardens and everything, so we needed to know where our drain field was because we don't want to plant a garden over our drain field. Um, and now we're not going to get into whether or not you should or shouldn't, that's up to you guys, but we just don't want to. So um, we wanted to show you how we found our septic system. The first thing we did was um, just kind of inspect the property and try to look for key um, things that stood out. For example, we found actually the round septic tank cover behind our mobile home. That was really easy. So we knew there was a septic tank right there behind the mobile home. The next thing is that I noticed a clean out, uh, PVC clean out pipe uh, next to the schoolhouse. And that made me wonder, was there septic run to the schoolhouse at one point? Is it still there? Where did it go? Um, I wasn't sure. So after looking at the property, I contacted the county. And that's what you got to do is contact your county um, health department. Health was the health. Yeah. Right? Count, yeah, yeah. The county health department and ask them for the talk to the people in vital records or whatever they have in your county. Because every county and state pretty much has records of septic installs because the septic systems are a big deal. And, and almost, you need a permit. I think every state wants you to have a permit to install a septic system. So contact your local county's office and ask them, do you have a record of the septic system? We did and they found it and it, and it gave us so much useful information. It told us how big it was um, and also gave us a rough map it wasn't a very accurate map but it was a drawn map of our property and it showed the schoolhouse and it actually has a septic line coming from a sewer line coming from the schoolhouse to the tank and out to a drain field and that was all the information we needed the measurements and everything could have been better but that's what we needed mm -hmm. and there was a note on our document the permit that actually said that when they put this mobile home in, in 1983, um, that's when they had the septic installed and they had a note on there that the mobile home would be hooked to it and would be disconnected um, once the schoolhouse was renovated. So somebody had this dream before us, um, hopefully we can make it happen this time. Um, so knowing where the drain field was approximately, I went outside and looked and I actually could see it in the ground. When you know where it is, it's easier to find. Here's the clean out that's located next to the schoolhouse. The pipe would go diagonally right under the mobile home. Right here. To the septic tank, diagonally out further to the leach field. But if you look faintly, you can see some dark lines right here, right here. You know, there's there's lines. You see, it's kind of forming a mound in between each dip. That's mound, mound. Let me see if you guys can see it from over here. I noticed this out the window. I'm going to try to show you the best I can. So here's a line, here's a line, here's a line. Those dark spots, like I said, they're hard to see. But there it is, that's the leach field. That's the drain field for our septic system. You see this line? And there's this line. I'm not sure why there's a line going this way. There's a line here, a line there. Now you can still find a septic leach field, a drain field, without um, snow on the ground. But I just thought this would be a good way to demonstrate it. What you can do is a lot of them, 
If you look, they'll have taller grass where the pipes run. You can look for the tall grass. During the summer when it's dry, it'll be the greener grass. Not always if it's buried too deep, but you can look for that. You can look for the humps in the ground because where they dug it out, it'll settle. So you can look for those dips and humps. And you can even dig down a little if you think you know where it is and look for the gravel because a lot of them have gravel. Some kind of stone. And we hope it helps somebody else. If you're looking for your septic system, um, the first thing we would do, contact the county. The health department should know and should be able to tell you or at least give you clues so yeah. it can help you get it. And she just quickly emailed us the pictures and had it like immediately. Yeah. Our paper was exciting to us because it told us that the septic system actually came from the schoolhouse and this was hooked to it temporarily. And that's awesome because that means that we have a septic system in place ready to go when we renovate our schoolhouse and that's going to make it so much easier. Mm -hmm. um, so we just, we just wanted to share with you because this is awesome news for us that the schoolhouse can be attached to the septic much more easier. But it's also bad news for us because we wanted to have a garden. In that spot where the leach field is. Yeah. So now we're going to move our garden. And it was another... a nice big area too. Yeah, it was the big flat spot of the yard, of course. So it's kind of a bummer that we can't put our garden there or we don't want to put our garden there, I should say. Um, but we have other, we have plenty of space to do it, so mm -hmm. we're fine. Um, but we just wanted to share because that was awesome news for us in a way that uh, I was I was dreading having them put in a new septic system for the schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. Every day this has been like a learning experience for us and we love that. Every day we're learning new things. We're learning new things about mobile homes that we've never we've never lived in one before. We're learning things about our property, about the land, and, and even this was a learning experience and so we wanted to share it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.